All right, let's trace the acid flow. First, the parameter is observed to determine why, whether it's a compression pointer or if it's a string length. If it's a string, if it's a string length, then the code attempts to read past the string length and determine the length of the string with strlen. Interesting. Strlen counts the length of strings by looking for the first null byte. However, we just determined that DNS packets use length prefix strings. So Strlen is the long, is the wrong function to use here because its method of determining string length is completely wrong. To Strlen, a null byte signals determination of a string. However, in length prefix strings, the null byte will be a valid character. So what happens there? Well, consider the example to the right. CP gets advanced by one. So now it points at A. And now if we take the Stirlin of the string starting at A, what happens? Well, it's going to end here and we just get the value one instead of the entire string. That's what we finally see here. Crazily, the code uses the return value of Stirlin to allocate a heap buffer and then proceed to copy the data from the heap buffer into the under allocated heap buffer. It's not safe. So once again, the under allocation, the under allocation occurs because we use the wrong function string length to determine the length of the allocation. And then we copy. Traditionally now using the original length into the buffer. What's really weird about this code is why was length determined here and determined here separately? It's, it's really weird. The code doesn't even try to restrict the label length to less than 63 per the spec requirement. Well, unfortunately, we do not know the fix, but you can almost guess it. First, the label length must be, must be validated and there should be consistency in determining the length of the string from the spec and in the code. 